Oh, hello, and welcome back to the Joy of Painting Middle Earth. I'm Timbo Took, and I'm happy you've joined me. As you know, this is a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer, and maybe we paint a scary one a time or two. That's always quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So, if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to see you here. I've got our canvas ready to go today. That's right, I've prepared that by putting down that liquid white, that magic white that Bob Ross the Blue, the Blue Wizard, taught us how to paint with. That's right, he would come to the Shire when I was just a boy, and he would show us all how to paint every week. Oh, I miss Bob Ross the Blue. I haven't seen him in quite some time. I just hope he's off on a merry adventure. That's right. Okay, as I said, we've got our liquid white on the canvas, and you test it out just by giving a fingerprint test. That's right. If it's too white and you can't see through it, you have too much. If you can't see any of it, you don't have enough at all. There we go. Now, today is a special day. I know I always say that, but I think this is one that you may have been waiting for. We are going to the house of Elrond. That's right. That's right. Rivendale. That secret hideaway hidden in the valley where the elves lived. That's right. Okay. We're just going to come in. Now, today is one of our golden paintings. We're just getting a little bit of our, our cadmium lemon. That's the yellow we're using and touching that into some of our titanium white. Now again, this is a wet on wet technique. So what that means is we're painting all at once, all our paints right on top of each other. There we go. That's the way Bob Ross the Blue taught us how to do it. Okay, so what I've done, I'm coming in for a color for our sky. And there's not going to be too much sky in this one because we're down in a valley. So I've got that, that just kind of hazy yellow mixed up on my palette there. Just load that up on the brush. Now, we've got mountains on this side and mountains on this side and, and Rivendell is down here in the valley, but right up here we do have some sky. So we'll take that, that golden color and just mix that in right along the top. There we go. Just mix that in. Not too bright. This is just kind of a dull sky. Oh, I got a little piece of a a hair there on the canvas. So you can see, you just bring it down. Oh, I'm picking up all sorts of hairs today. There we go. Just knock that off. All right. And we put this in. You press a little harder on the top. That'll get it right up there. And then we bring it down. And I've got that liquid weight on there. So it mixes with that as it comes down, as we come down into our valley. And we're not spending a lot of time on the sky today. We're just, just giving that indication that the sun is starting to fade in the sky and it st starts to light it up golden. There we go. And you might not be able to see it too well right now because it's just all white. So that kind of fades and mixes together. But once we come in and we put our mountains there, this gold color will just stick right out. There we go. There we go. That little hair just doesn't want to go away. Go away. There we are. There we are. Now, we're just going to clean off this brush and I'm using, I'm using paint thinner because we're using oil paints, that's right. If you're using acrylics, you will wash your brushes just with water. But with our oil paints, we need to wash them with paint thinner. Now, 
Because we're not outside, we're inside my hobbit hole. I don't beat the Sauron out of the brush right on the easel like I like to do when I'm outside painting. But I have a rubbish bin down here, and I just beat the Sauron out of the brush and clean it off. That's right, that's a fun part of it. There we go. Now, we're going to come here to our palette knife. And mine's getting some use, it's falling apart. I think I need to pick up another one. Now, I'm going to mix up a dark mountain color. So I'm just gonna come here to our ivory black. Oh yes, and the colors we're using today. I'm using, of course, titanium white. That is the basis for so much. I've got some bright red, cadmium lemon, uh, yellow ochre, ivory black, burnt umber, sap green, alizarin crimson, and just a little bit of phthalo blue. There's not gonna be too much, too much blue in this painting today because we have that golden sky. But I will take a little bit of that to mix into our mountain color. And a little bit of alizarin crimson. So what we do is we mix that together. You can't see the, the alizarin crimson and the phthalo blue too well through that, but it does give you some tones and shades and things when you do make your mountains. So we're gonna come over. We have, as I said, the valley. We're down in the valley, so you've got mountain on this side and mountains on this side. So we just come in right from the top, right from the top. There we go. There we go, just bringing that down. Just push that into the canvas. Just cut off a bead of paint and you come and we'll just leave that valley. Just come right down into the valley. There we go. There we go. Now back this way, there's some mountains back there. And just give ourselves a peek just back that way. There we go. And then, of course, we have our, our mountains that just march right down the side here. Just put that down. And then you can see it pushes that mountain way back into the distance. There we go. And just pull that excess paint right, scrape it across your canvas. There we go. And we'll come down with it. And do the same over here. And then this one in the back there. Yep, just. All right, now just clean off our palette knife. And then let's come back to that two inch brush we were using. And this one here in the back, we're just gonna pull this down. This one isn't going to have too much detail. It's furthest away. Furthest away, that's right. Just leave that hard edge and then just pull this down, just pushing that paint under your canvas. There we go. He's back there, he's back there. Now we can, with that mountain in the back, that mountain in the back, we'll just take some of our ivory black and just mix it into that golden color we had for our sunset sky. That's right, just mix that in. And we'll use this just to create 
there we go just kind of a golden crate golden gray color <laughs> that say that three times fast there we go and we just we'll just pull this along maybe I didn't have enough on my knife there so let's grab some of our white mix that in we're not making a snowy color but just these rocks this these are the foothills west of the misty mountains that's where they're nestled in there we go and maybe just a touch of our yellow golden that up there we go pull that out i'm going to clean off this knife just wiping that off on a towel made of paper cut across and we just come back as i said not a lot of detail on this mountain but he's there off in the back there we go grab some more just come down there we go maybe maybe comes like that Just let that paint break off the knife and give you little details back there. There we go. There we are now. Go back to one that's a little darker in shade and just give some shadow on this side. There you go. Come back to our highlight rock color. And we just kind of come right over the top of this. There we go. That just gives us some shape there. Now what we do is just tap this out. Tap that out. Make it misty. There's lots of... There we go. Knock some of the paint off the brush and just bring it up this way. There's lots of mist and things going on here. Maybe bring them down a little more. There we go. And then those details just get lost. Just get lost. Lost right down in the valley. There we are. Now, with our two inch brush, we're just gonna pull this down. And as you pull that down, this mountain will show you where the highlight areas, where the darker areas are. So we just come in just come in, get us a dark rocky color because this side is more in the shadow and the sun is hitting more this side. So this will be our darker side. Just pick up a little bit so it's not straight black for you. And just look where your, where your darker spots are. There we go. Just bring that down with a knife. Bring that down. There we go. Just giving some different shape to your cliff. There we are. Then down. On this side, just tap, tap it out, just 
tap in that dark. Don't tap too hard though. You've seen us knock these canvases right off the edge, right off the easel. There we are. Now, <clears throat> there are some waterfalls here. So what we can do is just come in to some of our titanium white. Now we can just use straight titanium white because it's going to, it's going to fill in with the other colors. But some of these waterfalls will come There we go. And some water coming right from the top. And they mix together. There we go. Now we'll come back with a brush, one of our fan brushes and soften that out a bit. Just pull it right down your canvas there. There we go. And maybe, maybe, maybe one more. There we go. Just wipe off that palette knife. Now I'm just going to come to my fan brush. And it gets mistier down at the bottom. Knock off some of that color you're picking up and come back up to the top. There we go. Just bring that water down. And wherever it's going to, it's just splashing away. Well, we know where it's going to. It's going to the Bruinine River. That's right. I'm just uh, talking. That's right. And again, take our two inch brush. We're just going to pull this color into our mountain. There we go. Now, now this side, it's catching more of that sunlight. So we can make a brighter color for our rocks. There we go. Oh. And we've got some of that yellow, some of that yellow in there, just Pick it up and just come down. Just let the paint break off the knife. When you pick up some of the dark, just wipe it off your blade. Now don't, don't take away all your dark spots. Let those play in there because there is some shade and some other things. Some parts of the rock that don't get touched by the sun. Now these weren't just bare rocks. There were some trees and things. 
some trees and things. So we're going to take, I've got our sap green. We're just going to come into some of this dark color that's on here. Maybe touch with a lizard crimson to darken that up. There we go. And we're just going to come to the top of our mountain here. And we're going to lift up just to create some trees right up top. Maybe, maybe do one right out on the edge there. There we are. And we can even put some right on our mountainside. Just using your fan brush, straight up and down. Straight up and down. You put some of those trees on there. There we go. Come back, pick up some more. And you see, by doing a variety, you have some that look like they were further away. Some are closer. We could do that all day long. So let's come over to this side now. And we have some trees there. But again, these ones are catching more of the sunlight. And just give yourself a line of trees. And we can come back and highlight those more. But again, we'll do some trees up on top. And again, sometimes I tilt my head to the side when I'm painting like this, just to stand out of your way. And so straight up for me, when I'm over here, looks a little different than when I'm right here. So you'll have to forgive me. Maybe the wind is blowing. Maybe the wind is blowing. And just put some of those in. Now we're just gonna go and Just go into some of our cadmium lemon and we'll just give some golden highlight on these ones. And just put them throughout. That way it's not just a place of rocks. I don't think the elves would live in a place that was just rocks. Oh no, you know the elves, you know the elves. Just put some here again. We don't want to spend all of our time doing this. Although we could, I could spend all day painting trees for you. I swear I could, I could. And 
Don't just make it one color. Those highlights don't work if there's no dark to follow. Or if there's no dark, they're highlighting. They're no longer a highlight. This will be closer to us. So this is coming down a little closer. And so there will be more trees in there. There we go. And you can see my fan brush is in a straight line. So I got a lot of crooked trees there, but that's okay. That's okay. There we are. There we are. Well, we've got a lot going on up there. What about down here? Oh, let's get to that. Let's get to that. Hmm. Well, now we start to get into some of the structures. Oh, and you know me. You know me. I'm not the best when it comes to painting these structures. But before we put some of those in there, I think I'll come to my one inch brush. Now this is late autumn and these are evergreen trees so they stay pretty green all the time. But we've got some other trees that fill up Rivendale. And let's just give, give a dark color for these trees. Oh, that's a mess there. I'm making a mess. So, just come in using our one inch brush and I'm just filling this in and we'll come back and do some highlights. Because as I said, this is autumn, so we're going to have, we're going to have our trees here and they'll be touched by the late autumn. There we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Come up a little higher with these. Okay. Now, gonna wash that green off the brush. <laughs> Just beat the sour on out of it. Okay, okay, let's give ourselves, oh, we want to go to some of this bright red. Some of this bright red. Make ourselves up a, a nice highlight color. There we go. And just come on, and we're just going to tap this. Just tap it lightly. There you go. You don't want to smash it in. Oh, I got a little too much there. There we go. Those leaves are just being touched by the oncoming autumn. And just go back and get some variance of colors so it's not the same each place. And there, oh, a glob again. We don't like those globs. There we go. That's why you tap it in so it's not globby on there. And make it a little more yellow. Give it some gold. There we are. Ah. 
And you see you fill it in pretty good right there. Just there we are. Now before we go further with some of those, we'll be putting in more leaves. But we do have some things going on. We do. I promise we're getting there. I promise. Oh yes. Oh yes. We've got just scrape out now. Where some of our structures will be. There we go. There we go. Now we've got to put something there. And and we do that. We do that by coming in. We're going to make kind of a light brown color that we can we can come back and highlight. We'll lighten them up with some yellow. And we just cut some of that. Now we're going to make our structure. Whenever we're making these, the lines are important. When you're making trees and things, the lines aren't as important. And I think we want to bring them up this way. There we go. And maybe, maybe there is another part to this roof that comes out right here. So it changes, changes the angle. Now, let us come. And come with a little bit of a golden highlight. And we'll come right here, right down the roof. There we go. Oh, I keep picking up the brown and then putting it back down. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. There we are. And just, again, these are structures not made by nature. They're made by elves, though, so we know they were. Fantastic structure, but just giving some lines across on our shingles. There we go. Now, come here. Bring another structure out this way.
There we go. Now these are the types of things that take a long time to do. So if you want to spend some time going in with very detailed brushes, you can do that. What we're doing here is we're just giving the appearance of these structures that the elves lived in. There we go. There we go. And they were built right upon the rock. So we just give it a foundation here on the rocks. And maybe we'll have another here. And I don't know what I'm doing. We're just making it up as we go along. We'll come over this way. There we go. There we are. Now, let's come, oh, let's see. Let's come, these are, this is one of my filbert half, oh no, this is a wildlife, half inch wildlife bristle. I'm not doing wildlife, but I will do some. Let me get a little paint thinner on there. Take a nice, Thin our white up a little bit, and maybe we have some water here. No, oh, we didn't do any waterfalls up there. I was going to, but that's okay. For another day, I'm sure we'll paint Rivendell some more. Maybe that's some rough water just coming through. Going down, who knows where. Down to the Bruinen. There we go, I keep saying that, and I know exactly where it's going. There we go. There we are. Now, of course, maybe there's a structure on this side. Right over, let's make this one a tall one. Kind of more of a tower-like structure. There we go. And we'll make him have a base here.
There we go. All right, and let's highlight that out a little. Give them some elf shingles, whatever they're made of, I don't know. There we go. And just highlight that corner. There we are. And these elf structures, oh, they use some some sort of white white wood or white varnish on the wood. I don't know. I'm not an elf. There we go. I like that. There we are. And our tower here. And maybe there's some sort of gazebo up here. Who knows, who knows? Maybe it's catching a bit of the sun. Maybe that's a little too much. There we go. There we are. Oh, and I think we've been at this for quite some time. I'm just going to put a bridge here. Some sort of structure. <laughs> that was quite a lot of paint on there. And let's just give a highlight there. There we go. There we go. All right, now, now that we have that, that's just a representation of the House of Elrond. Now we come and well, now we can just add in some color and land and stuff down here. All right. And we're just going to fill this in with trees. There we go. And we'll do something along this side too. There we go. Just fill that in with color and we can put some trees and things to highlight that. And we just fill that up at the bottom quick. And one thing we didn't do was a big old tree on this one. I think we should do a big old tree that kind of half hides it because this is a hidden valley, correct? I think so. So let's just give ourselves a nice tree trunk color. All right. And then we just will have a big old tree that just comes right here. Oh, this is a stout hearted test.
hidden right here. There we go. I'm going to step in front of you a minute. I apologize because I'm having a hard time seeing. And maybe he's got a branch that comes off this way. And maybe another branch that comes this way. There we go. All right. Now let's darken up our sap green. Use some alizarin crimson to darken that up. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to put mm, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Let's go to our one inch brush. Let me clean this off real quick. There we go. There we go. Let's use our one inch brush and we're going to put some. Now we're getting a lot of paint on here. And you just put these leaves in. Just these dark. We're going to go back on and give some highlight to these. There we go. There we go. And then just come back and just tap these on. There we go. There we go. So you see you leave some room for the dark to peek through. That gives your light that's in the front there more to play with. Knock some of the dark off. And we're using a wet, pretty wet brush with that paint thinner. So it sticks a little better. There we go. And now we do want to come up and we want to go some of our yellow and give a nice golden highlight. And then into some of that yellow ochre and some of that bright red. There we go. There we go. 
and just highlight that. There we go. There we are. Now we can come down and highlight some of these bushes down here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And when you get it nice and thinned out, it'll It'll come off that brush. Nice onto that. There we go. And sometimes you can see it starts to give you the same pattern if you have your colors on the brush. I had a spot of red right there in the middle. There we go. And if you want to do another tree to kind of bring it in, you can, you can. It's your painting. You get to do whatever you want. I just wanted to show you how we would do that right down in the valley there. All right. All right. There we go. I hope you had fun painting with me today. Now, this is one where we'll come back and revisit Rivendell again. The more we do it, the better they get. That's right. That's right. It's a fun way to spend an afternoon. All right. Thank you for sharing yours with me. Goodbye and God bless.